everybody, it is Kalaxon here with Delicious in Dungeon, Episode 5 Reaction and Review, and we're just going to get into it, because I don't think I have any theories or anything like that for this one, so let's get started. Three, two, one, press and play. Alrighty. So, uh, it has been a while since I saw the last episode, but I guess we'll just talk about briefly what happened with the orcs and everything, uh, the ecosystem. I think they talked about the ecosystem a little bit and how Senshi manages the ecosystem stuff, but then there was also this idea of what would you do if you were king and with uh, Laotis and everything. And so that was really interesting and compelling because I really hope that at the end of this, they will be king, but then they'll leave it to Senshi, right? Like, Laotis will kind of be king in position, but that really it'll be Senshi managing. Like, Senshi would be a very good royal advisor, right? And taking care and delegating of the things that need to be done. But uh, we are at episode five, so I'm interested in whether or not we're going to see the sister and everything yet in terms of the, the, the sister that got eaten by the dragon. I kind of feel like that we could be getting that, like, a mid-season episode six type situation, but I'm not entirely sure. There is somebody in the OP, the, right there, actually, in uh, in the thumbnail uh, for the episode. So that'll be interesting to meet new people and see some new characters and everything. But yeah, I don't really have particular theories. I think that the theorizing, again, we're only on episode five. I feel like the theorizing will come later on. Also, if you guys want to see this early, you can uh, check out the Patreon for early access and all that fun stuff, but let us see. <laughs> let us see what the show brings us for this week, because last, I mean, every episode has an unhinged element to it. So is this still in the dungeon? Like, this is another tavern still inside? Oh, okay, so... Oh my god, that person is like a dog! Oh wait, okay, so they're, they're outside. They're not in the dungeon yet. They're preparing to go in, okay. Yep, that person is just a dog. I don't know what I expected, but that was not it. <laughs> Oh, how do you know? Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh, I wonder, that was an interesting expression for that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's what I was, I, I thought that maybe she had beef with that. Ah. Uh. Oh, I like that though, that's true. I feel like something bad is going to happen to these people, honestly, because I don't know if all of them were in the OP. And so I kind of feel like something's going to happen to this guy's team and then he's going to kind of join with uh, Marcel and Leotis and... Oh dear. This is cool though that we're getting to see like the outside world, you know? Oh, well, you're gonna find out. Oh my god. Why are you, sir? Please don't do this. Ah. Yeah, I'm a little afraid. That girl's gonna die, bro. She's trying to pickpocket that dead body. I don't know. I'm very suspicious of everything all the time. I don't know if that's...
that's a good idea, but okay. <laughs> oh dear me. Shit! No, 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 no! There has to be a catch! No way! No fucking way! No! No! I do not believe this! Something is wrong! What? No. Cursed! Pirates of the Caribbean taught us nothing? Oh! Okay. Oh, wait a minute. They aren't actually staying in the dungeon. They're going to leave. Oh, well. Yeah, they're not camping out like the others are. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you guys can tell. My hands have literally been like this the whole time. Oh no. See, I knew something bad was going to happen. The money put them to sleep. dead though oh no they're not dead they're in the op they can't be dead but yeah my hands were like <laughs> oh see oh it's his little guy oh my god that's brilliant even the monster knows don't touch that fucking thing. Okay. Oh man, are we gonna figure out how to eat these bugs? Okay, well, he's not wrong. Right. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh my God, I love that. That's such good world building. Wait a minute. So if the crowns float, they're treasure bugs, but like... Are there actual tre- like, he said that as if some of the tiaras were real and, like, actually were treasure. Wait, what about the dead people? Are they okay? 
I thought that they just were knocked out. I don't think that they're really dead, are they? I mean, but people can be revived in this world. That's something that we've talked about before, so... That's crazy. Like, this is like those cakes that you see online that look like water bottles and then you cut into them and they're actually cake. Like, you know what I mean? That's nutty. But yeah, maybe these people will get revived or something. We just haven't seen that be done before, so I don't know. Like, how badly can your body be dead that you can come back, you know? Like... Wait, what? You've had these before? Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, that's what he was saying. Like, I guess a tradition somewhere. Good fortune. Ugh. Oh, no! I can't do things with certain textures. I don't think that I would enjoy some of this. Like, gooey, ugh. I don't, I don't know, guys. Yeah, like, this is crazy. How did, like, how did they learn to do that? You know what I mean? Like, oh, maybe the thing in the sword is hungry? to right now like my goodness Sandwich. No. He really needed to go back. It was already like five second rule already, buddy. Oh no. What the fuck? What the fuck are these? Like, how did this work? Guys, I am... What? Ugh. Oh, right! Did they never tell Senshi anything? Oh, uh, also, did you guys see that Marzell was blushing a little bit? I feel like they're gay. 
Um, but anyway. Oh, wait a minute. These are the other two people that, like, fucked off, right? Because they were like, eh. Oh, look, she, her hair is different. Oh, interesting. So this is what they were doing. But she didn't do that. I mean, I guess, though, those ghosts aren't possessing anyone. They're just flying around, right? What? Oh, my God. I don't know. Okay, good. Ah! <laughs> You're gonna make it? What do you mean? Okay. Like... Okay, sure. You know, at church they have candles and whatever, but... All right. Yeah, salt, right? Throwing salt over your shoulder, all of those things. Salt circle. Ah! Damn, so we're just, like, adding everything from every, like, different culture and religion in here. I guess. See, he's seeing things. All right, I love that we're just whipping around. Oh my God, we're just whipping around the jar. But yeah, I... Oh. That was the first time that I felt like, though, I didn't think that they were actually 
in danger, so I was surprised to see Leotis be so, like, serious, like, this is the end. But... shocked at how, like, oh my god. Especially with what Senshi was doing, I thought we were still fooling around. I did not expect them to get so, like, emotional all of a sudden. And, like, that they actually could have died, you know? Oh, it got cold. It's ice cream, basically. Yeah, oh my god, that's hilarious. Exorcism sorbet. That's so funny. I love this show. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, I love how he's looking to the sword. with them instead, right? Or something like that. I don't know. It's going to be interesting, right? I wonder if we are ever going to see the two people that abandoned the crew again. The uh, the samurai guy and then the... the uh, I'm assuming that the lady may be a dwarf or something like that. Um, but that would be cool if we got to see them again. I'm not sure if we will. But I feel like we're definitely getting into, I don't know, more plot territory again. Not to say that this stuff hasn't been important, but I feel like that we may be getting more into the, the, the apex of the action 
action? I don't know. But I really enjoyed this episode. I really liked, again, Marcel has a little I, gay thing with Valen going on, which I think is interesting, but just talking about her, I thought that the way to get rid of the ghost was really interesting. Even, like, the treasure bugs, how the different sex has different outsides. I thought that that was really interesting. I just love how this show does the creatures. <laughs> Right? It's so fascinating to me. I'm just, I'm a little confused about whether the thing in the sword needs to eat because it seems like it's, like, it's shaking every time Leos tries to put something near it, so I'm not sure if it, if it does or if it just feels uh, threatened or something. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't really need to eat. Like, it's not like that. Like, it's kind of more of a plant, like a fun guy. Because that's what they said last episode, right? That it's more fun guy adjacent. But anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed my reaction. Make sure to check out the Patreon if you want to see reactions early, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.